Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, everyone. Come on in. I'm Terry Ann Hyman with the Empowered Spirit Program, Natural Forces Studio, and the Empowered Spirit Circle here on Facebook. Come on in. This is your energy focus for the week. We've moved through that big old eclipse. Now what? That's the question I'm going to be answering. Now what? What do we do with all of that energy from the eclipse this past week? So come on in. Join me as we focus our energy. We align. We ground. We really come into being able to use this energy all for our highest good. So that's what I'm going to be answering. Now what do we do? So I'm going to go ahead and share this post. I'm going to look for it on Facebook and share it. And do the same for me. I would really appreciate it. If you would also share, I'm going to share into my group. I have the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. It's a fun group, private members. Just come on in, ask to join, and we share lots of great information, and we really do. We share it. I bring in articles, metaphysical, crystal, all that's going on, readings, all these kind of things. So come on out, check it out, and share in the feed. If you'll do the same, that'll be great. I'm going to share in the group. It always helps when we share. I see a couple people. I can't quite tell who's here. So give me a thumbs up. Jump in and let me know that you're here. We're going to be doing some readings tonight. I'm going to be picking some cards. Talking about all of this energy that we have coming forward. All right. I got a thumbs up. I'm not quite sure who that is. All right. Adrian, I saw that thumbs up. I don't quite see you there. I still don't understand this Facebook stuff. But I still keep trying. So come on in, join me. We're just going to take a few minutes. I've actually got a little family uh, birthday party going on upstairs. So I kind of snuck away because I just have so much to talk about and so much to talk with all of this energy that we went through this past week. One more. All right. I'll update the links as soon as I finish here. So how is everyone? How is it tonight that you're doing? What's going on? Let me know how you're feeling. Give me a thumbs up if you've noticed the energy from the eclipse, right? It's pretty intense out there, or it has been. So we've had the opportunity to kind of ground that energy. So let's just take a moment. I think it's just about seven o'clock. Light a little sage. It's been almost a week now. Pull all of this energy in, pull it in. Let's refocus and let's harness it all for the highest good, all right? Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Just send that breath all the way down. Feel the legs connecting to the earth. Feel your feet on the ground. Intense for sure, but all good. All right, Adrian, thanks for letting me know. Yes. Let's just take a moment and see where we are right now. And just think back where you were last Sunday at this time. I know I was super excited to know what to expect, all this energy. And now we've been through this for a week. Where are you right now? Let's look at that energy as we open up to this energy focus. Lots of things occurred this past week, right? What did you notice? I'd love to hear what you noticed. Leave me some more comments. Right? I know for myself, the way I kind of pulled it all in and started to interpret and started to look at it, even scientifically, was all of that alignment, that sun, the reflection of the moon, that energy coming forward, the switch and the light, the light was so cool, really activating that thymus gland, really opening it up and really, really heading on that pineal gland, awakening the pineal gland, which is the seat of our soul which is that light body for us. So it's activating that energy and helping us to raise and shift our vibration. Very cool, very good. Many people are saying they had headaches. That's part of it. So much congestion of energy all up here. Some people are saying they felt out of balance. Some people out of sorts. Some people saying they were even super sensitive to other people around them. What was it for you? Give me a hashtag super sensitive. Give me a hashtag out of sorts. What was it for you? An intense, we already got one of those, right? Yes, it was. What about what you noticed as you went through the next day and the next and the next? Really important as we go and try to figure out how can we integrate the energy? What can we, what can we do to align? And why? Why do we even want this? What is so cool about it, right? 
headaches. All right, yeah, there was some headaches going around. And I think that's part of it. So the way we deal with that and the way that we move this forward too is to really breathe and to really feel our connection with the universe and really offer ourselves 10 minutes if you can each and every day. 10 minutes to sit still, 10 minutes to see what it is that's coming up for you in those moments of being still. Where's the darkness? Where's the shadow? Where's the light? All right, translate that. Where's the vibration? Where's those high vibrations of peace and happiness and joy and love? Where are those lower vibrations, stress and fear and anxiety, conflict, right? Look at it in terms of vibration. Instead of being emotionally attached to it, look at it in terms of vibration. And as you sit there, feel that lower vibration letting go or see what needs to come up. That's a lot of what's going on right now in the processing of the energy. See where the shadows are. See what's coming forward and what's coming up because that's how we move it out. And that's what we really want to do is help to move it out as we move forward. All right. So now what? What do we do? We sit and we be still. We meditate, we open up to this energy, we run our breath, that's what we're gonna do in a few moments. We run our breath up and down the body and feel that connection to the earth. And we allow those messages to come forward. All right, so we moving out right now, we're about halfway in the Mercury retrograde, so we're getting over that in energy and Saturn has gone direct. So what we may be feeling is that we're ready to get going, we're ready to start something new. All this energy came forward, we're ready to move forward, but we are in the retrograde. So don't, don't go too crazy yet, right? Like have a little patience. Keep integrating the energy. Write down what you want to do. Get a clear plan. Right now is not the time to start anything brand new. Renew, refresh, redo, but not brand new, okay? A couple of weeks. So have a little patience with time as you pull that force and that power forward for yourself. It's a good time to still get rid of anything that's not serving you. We still have that opportunity right now. Go back and renew those intentions from Monday right? Did you make some intentions? It was a new moon on that eclipse. So it was the awesome time to really make those intentions forward for you. So what's going to happen is the more you clear out, the more you can move forward into this brand new portal of energy, into this higher vibration of energy that we have coming forward at this time. It's so important. We need it. So much is being stirred. That's what we want. We want this to be stirred up. We want to have that higher vibration coming forward. We see it, right? We see it in our political system. It's happening. It's coming forward. It's breaking down. That's exactly what this energy is all about. It really is. Well, I got a excited there. So maybe you've noticed that too. And maybe you can look at that parallel in your own life. What is breaking up for you? What is shifting around? Where are your relationships right now? That's exactly what the energy is asking us to look at. As we become still, that's what we're going to find needs to be released. All right. Does that make sense? The more we sit still, the more we can find and hear that inner guidance. Right. So that's the main message for this week. We start out with a lot of great forward energy are feeling that like positive energy. So stay in that alignment, but look underneath the surface. All right. Look what needs to come up. Look for what you're not trusting and learn to trust those gut feelings, that intuitive part of you. That's what this energy vibration is all about too. It's opening up right? The stimulation of that pineal gland, it's opening up the ability for that spiritual knowledge, for the depth of your spiritual knowledge to grow as well. All right, so take a nice deep inhale and exhale out. Let that information settle in. We're still integrating. All right, I'm working with the um, wild unknown, back to the wild unknown. So just take a nice deep inhale and let's see what the cards are going to show us for this week. All right. All right. I'm doing four. The first card that comes up, all right, is the daughter of swords. All right. So I love this card because this is the card that reminds us is our anchor card to sit still, very still. The daughter of cups, I mean of swords, sorry, the daughter of swords, she's the one that sees a lot. You may not know it, but she sees a lot. She picks things out. She knows what's going on. She's kind of quiet. And that's what the universe is saying right now. Be a little still. Look for those details. I love the way they have these little balls of color, right? Pick out the details you need. Now, be careful. This also could mean that you're being a little picky yourself. So don't be too picky, but uh, notice the details. I think that's the bigger part of this message. Notice the details going on right now. 
All right, so the things that come up that are affecting this is the Justice card. This is interesting here, all right, and the card itself, there we go. It's a black and white cat. Their tails are crossed, all right? This is what they call one of the major arcanas. So where is that justice in your life? Or where do you feel something is not in balance? Where is it not so fair, all right? Where is that for you? That's what this card is asking us to look at. It In that stillness, this is what's going to come up. What do you need to make equal in your life? What needs to be balanced in that justice? Where are you feeling the unfairness? Those are the questions that you're going to be bringing up to help you move through this energy. Interesting enough, the next card that comes up is the Seven of Cups. Now, this is not one of your favorite cards to see. It's a card about deception. So it's asking us to really look beneath the surface and see there's something in there we don't quite want to face. I love the way the moon is at the top, the sun is at the bottom. You've got that one reverse cup. So things are good. I'm not saying that everything is in deception. There is some detail you need to look underneath and find out. And that's part of that lower vibration. So bring it up. Let it go. It's not horrible. Just face it and deal with it. That light. Remember how we shine the light and then it comes rising up, right? That's exactly what this card is telling us. And that's what's going to help find the balance and justice that you're feeling you need in your life. When we do this, I love it. The lover's card comes forward. So maybe there's something that needs to be cleared out in your relationships. That's exactly what people have been talking about right now. This energy is about the relationships, the communication, because then the lover's card, all right, these geese, they mate for life. So loving and having that deeper connection with yourself even or with others is really important at this time. And the way to do that, find that deception. What's underneath the surface? What's the secret? All right, you can even look at it that way. What are we hiding? that brings us back and out of balance, so bring us back into balance. When we find these, that's how we can move forward. Now, the, uh, the uh, um, card that was at the bottom of the deck, the influence here, I love it, is the Ace of Wands. As we go to clear this energy out, a whole brand new powerful force of energy is coming forward. One of passion, one of force. Look at the reds and the yellows and the oranges. All right, so clearing out this energy right now is going to help us move through this and get to this point, all right? Yes, beautiful cards, really exactly saying what we were saying before. I love how the cards come forward for that. So take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Hey, if you want me to draw a card, give me a thumbs up. Otherwise, we're going to move into doing a little meditation tonight to help us balance this energy. All right. Feel that breath coming in. All right, so hey, this card's for you. It is the tower. So there are some changes coming, which I think you know. All right, when we're aware of the tower, we can help those changes along, all right? When we resist it, they can call as this looks like burn up. All right, this is the way that they predict it here or project it here. Looks like some lightning coming in. So there's gonna be some changes and I think you know this, right? So go with it, work through it, work through the details, and you'll be able to figure it out to help you understand because this energy that's come forward for you is big. I know there are a lot of things going on. So be that guide, okay? Yay, she gave me a heart. All right, good. Sometimes when we see the tower, we get a little afraid, but I think when we can be in charge of those changes, we are so much more empowered. All right, beautiful time for that card. I think anything with change right now to come forward is really hugely important for where we are. All right, so take a nice deep inhale. If you have some changes coming forward in your life right now too, give us a thumbs up for that, right? Ha! <sighs> all right, so let's just take all this excitement from this past week. And if you were around the eclipse, go back to what that energy felt like. Allow your vibration to raise See that moon and star coming in as we take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Just send the breath all the way down. Release that excess energy deep into the earth. And inhale, bring it back up through the body, up into the heavens. And exhale, pull it all the way down. Feel it moving through the feet. Feel that connection to the earth releasing out. Inhaling, opening up this vertical channel all the way up the heavens. Exhale, all the way down, deep through the body into the earth. Inhaling, opening that vertical channel. We activated the light body. 
So allow it to shine, feel it radiating out up and down the body and then come into the heart, drop the breath into the heart and open that vibration out in front. And as you exhale, pull it all the way behind. Just feel the heart opening as you find that balance all the way in front of you and exhale all the way behind. Good, and then up the body vertically again, inhaling and then exhaling all the way back down deep into the earth. So we feel that vertical channel of light and we feel the heart open with that horizontal channel up and down, back and forth, feeling that vibration of energy moving as we integrate this huge energy that has come forward for us. Feel the feet flat on the ground. Continue to expand the breath. Feel yourself centering. Feel the earth underneath the feet. Open up that first chakra. Breathe that prana from the earth into the first chakra for your abundance. Then send it all the way up the body and exhale, sending it all the way back down. Over and over, becoming really still in your own breath, becoming still in the center of who you are. Feeling that connection to the earth and just bringing that awareness back. Inhaling and exhaling. So that was two minutes and 22 seconds. I have been catching the numbers all week. So something like that for five minutes, add a few more, you'll notice the difference, you'll notice the calming, you'll notice the grounding each and every day. And then you're gonna start to notice a different vibration for your own self. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut it short tonight. Got a little party going on upstairs. Join me tomorrow, I'm gonna to be doing readings on air, blog talk radio, call in. You can find the post in the group or on Facebook. Um, yes, call in. I'll be doing readings for you guys on air. Let's see. Thursday morning, I have a meetup group for Wade Beham. Come join us for coffee over at Feast and Forest. We're going to be talking about business cards. All right. So if you're in the conscious and um, conscious field, business, massage, energy, yogas, therapists, coaches, photographers, artists, creatives, any in that holistic community, come join us over at Feast and Famine. You can find it on Meetup at Wade Beham. That's Thursday coming up. All right, guys, join me on the radio tomorrow. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. So if you're new to me, I'm Terry Ann Hyman from the Empowered Spirit Circle here on Facebook. Come join us. Thanks for joining in. Have a great week. To your spirit, namaste.